So developing events in Washington and in Gaza this hour, and both are linked to Israel. The United States has now officially recognised Israel's claim to sovereignty over the occupied Golan Heights. We're going to talk about that shortly. But I want to start in Gaza, where the Israeli military has begun bombing the Strip after Sunday's rocket attack near Tel Aviv. These are the latest images coming uh, from the enclave before night fell. Uh, the military says it is hitting Hamas targets and it has mobilised ground forces near the Gaza border. This is, as we say, after a rocket landed in Tel Aviv, uh, near Tel Aviv, and wounded seven people. Israel will not tolerate this. I will not tolerate this. And as we speak, as I told you, Mr. President, just now, Israel is responding forcefully to this wanton aggression. I have a simple message to Israel's enemies. We will do whatever we must do to defend our people and defend our state. Uh, Harry Fawcett is with us now from that border fence near uh, between Gaza uh, and Israel. Harry, tell us what you've been seeing and hearing. Well, what we've just been hearing, in fact, from our colleagues inside Gaza is the most, uh, I think, important information that we've had since the strikes got underway a little over an hour ago. Uh, our colleagues there at the bureau, um, the Al Jazeera bureau, inside Gaza say that a building very close to our bureau, the uh, building housing the al uh insurance company, uh, there were four uh, strikes uh, that they believe were from a drone, uh, small strikes, small rockets, uh, to give a warning that this building was about to be targeted in a major way. The fifth time uh, any weaponry came in, that was when the building was entirely destroyed. Now, this is a company that is believed to be linked to Hamas. So this represents uh, a real shift from what had been happening in the early phase of this attack, which was uh, empty military training bases being struck, uh, a naval base being struck. We're now talking about a strike taking place right in the middle of densely populated Gaza City, uh, presumably uh, striking as they did in, in November, striking the Al-Aqsa television station, also linked to Hamas. Uh, they've, deci they've decided to, to go after a, a major target within the dense city of Gaza. Uh, so far, we're not hearing any reports of casualties. Ambulances have apparently come to the scene. Uh, it may well be that those warning strikes uh, were enough to make sure that people got out of that building before it was taken down, but we, we don't have confirmation of that. OK, any indications of... of I know I'm sort of asking you to crystal ball gaze a little bit, but how long this might go on? Any sort of indications of how big this is? Because, as we say, it is in response specifically to this rocket attack uh, in uh, or near Tel Aviv. Yes. I mean, we've been here many times over the last few months. Mm. Uh, the idea of, uh, of an escalation potentially leading towards an all-out war. Each time that it's happened, uh, both sides, with Egyptian mediation, have managed to draw, draw back from the brink. The most recent one, as you say, there were two rocket attacks, uh, two, two rockets launched from Gaza towards Tel Aviv uh, some 10 days ago. They both landed in open land, uh, nothing damaged, nobody injured. This one, of course, uh, destroyed a family home and seven members of that family were injured. So that in itself would suggest that a bigger response is coming than the 100 or so targets which were struck uh, last time. Uh, it's also, of course, a very a delicate and fraught political moment in Israeli domestic politics, two weeks out from an election where Benjamin Netanyahu is throwing the kitchen sink at it and making every effort he can to hold on to his premiership in the face of uh, corruption indictments, in the face of a very strong challenge from a former army chief, Benny Gantz, who himself has been saying that this launch this morning from Gaza is the result of a failed strategy by Netanyahu. So we are expecting a much a bigger response than we saw just a few days ago. That may itself elicit a response from Hamas. And of course, then we're on the escalatory escalator, which uh, obviously uh, people have managed to, to draw back from in recent months. But there are only so many times that can happen bef before it, it, it fails to, uh, that the, the mediation uh, risks, runs the risk of failing.